Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to make a video about uh, how to set up uh, my charts uh, once again. Um, and the reason is that I modified a couple of things uh, in the charts um, lately. So wanted to share with you in that way, you know what you see while um, while uh, I'm doing my videos. Okay. So basically what that, what i have here i'm going to start from uh, my entry chart so in my entry chart um, i do use a unirenko it's um the size is uh, the, the tick trend is four the open offset is 10 and the reversal is 20. okay so um that means this is this is probably the, the most important one um uh, every um if the if the tick reverse or or the bar reverses then i put i have a stop of uh, a trailing stop actually of uh 22 so uh, basically if uh, if it everything or, or if something goes wrong my stop uh or if it if i'm wrong when i just take the trade my maximum uh, loss is going to be 22 uh ticks okay um four is the distance in between um each one of these uh, um, bars so basically let me let me go and uh and mark it here um let's see i'm gonna mark this one here so this bar here with that bar there has a little bit of distance in between the two of them right that one is the four so it's the um is uh, called the tick trend okay so uh, every every four ticks it paints another another brick and now the price can move all the way uh, in there and i'm not going to see that that changes right so that is the the initial the initial setup. Now, um, for I, I do have uh, some indicators, and I'm gonna go through each one of the indicators now. So here you access the indicators right there, and I'm gonna go one by one. So the first one I have is the uh, M, M, A, A exponential moving average or the moving average cross builder you can find these uh, indicators all in the um in the um ecosystem for ninja trader okay so basically yeah the the first one i have is uh, is uh, the eight uh, and, and you will see that let me let me mark it again so um it's going to be the eight the 18 is going to be this one here and the uh 34 which is the one that you see um right there okay so the second moving average is this one right here the one in yellow and i uh, uh, put a shade uh in between the two um uh, moving averages so in that way i know that uh if the price is it goes goes there and i activated that one with this uh, color region between so i, I mark it there and lime is when it's oh, going up and red in and it's going when when it's going down with an opacity of 20 percent okay so that's uh the first uh, uh indicator i have the moving averages um moving moving in the, the same direction uh and and um, um and uh, then it went reverses it crosses and then it 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 moves uh and in in changes color in the in the uh, region in between the two moving averages okay so 18 and 34 now the other the other indicator i use and this one i use uh, um, basically out of the box so no changing any any of these uh, periods um, uh, is um, the ichimoku uh, cloud so the idea is that if the if the price is um, uh, moving uh, above these two lines 
in the um, uh, uh, moving averages and also moving above the um, Ichimoku, then I'm looking for longs. And then if it crosses and move, move below, then I'm looking for shorts, okay? So Ichimoku, no no changes in there you can find that one in the ecosystem as well now the unirenko uh, uh price is uh one that uh, is the one that marks this uh these prices right here so i know exactly where um let me mark it here so you can see it so you see these two prices uh that one there and this one here so this one is given by uh this um unirenko prices right here and then and then uh what gives you is uh the uh, the high of the um of the uh value of the Renko and then uh, the low. So if, if it moves above this one, then this bar is going to, to close. And if it moves below this one, it's going to reverse, right? Okay. Okay, so next one, next one there, and I don't change anything in, in that uh, indicator either. So it gives me the price in there. Then the, the open range is, um, I put it uh, for uh, ES, which is uh, which is uh, uh, this one right here. So I'm working with uh, ES, right? So basically, what I do have is in between 9:30 and 10 a.m. So half an hour, and it marks um, uh, this. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me get. Let me do it again. So uh, marks that line and that line. So this one is the high end of the, the range, and this one is the low, low, a, a low uh, range uh, or low end of the of the open opening range. So basically, what you see here is that the market opened at 9:30, opened right below here, and then uh, at nine uh, at uh, at 9:30, open here, and at 10 um, um, highest price uh, at, at 10 uh, before 10 a.m. was right here and it's actually a double top right there okay okay so that one that one is uh, is the range and it has some extensions that that, that you can mark in in this one also I, I, all of these indicators you can find them in the uh echo ecosystem for ninja trader now this one here is the mq momentum and this one this one is uh, the one that that you see here below right um so basically the one that i'm talking about is uh, is uh, this one here so it moves up and down up and down so this is the slow and fast line of this this indicator it also gives you uh right here it gives you the um um the histogram okay so you see the histogram going up so basically when the um a fast line is above the slow line then it, it marks it uh, as green and then the other way it marks marks it in in red okay so that is the uh mq momentum and now i bought this um um indicator but you can use the um uh, macd indicator uh with um uh, kind of like the same thing so uh, i i have the macd indicator let me move it up a little bit just uh, to put it besides the other one uh right there okay so here you see the the uh settings on this one is 532 and 5 so it it with this you would get kind of like the same the same effect uh as as this one here so it's kind of the the same um um uh indicator okay so you you see that it's moving up and then um you know the the difference and you can you can do that as well uh, in the macd indicator but uh, basically you would have here uh, i mark it uh, 20, 25 this one in the in the case of uh, es it's going to be five and but you have to mark it there so basically the strategy is that if if the price is um 
or is if the indicate the fast line or slow line are in between the the 25 lines then you have kind of green light to 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 uh, press the the bottom to get the order now if if it goes like in this way that it, it's beyond the uh 25 then you have to be careful on what you're doing because it, it means that it's over sold in this case or in in this case here it would be uh in this area here below this area and uh, up until this area here it would be uh in this area here it would be over sold okay so um yeah so that one is MACD. I, again you can use MACD instead of uh, mq momentum now swing race is something that i turn on and off most of the time i don't have them uh in my um in my charts um normally but, but i but i activate them right so i put it visible here and you will see that it's going to mark um uh this pivots on the renko in renko it's very easy to identify them so uh basically you don't you don't really need to to, to use them but uh but uh, you see that uh, there's a line uh right there there's another line right there there's another line right there and there's another line right there right so uh basically uh let me put it uh, basically you would see that um that those lines are marked and and so you you know where your support and resistance are basically at a glance i don't have them there because it's easy on the, to see them so i'm i'm turn it off and 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 that's the way i i keep it most of the time but i have it there just in case i want to see uh, there now uh, the pivot the pivots is uh, called nts uh pivots and this one here is gives me these levels here um so it gives me um the pivot point which is this one here it gives me a uh, resistance one and resistance two which is up there and then uh and then also gives me supports so you have uh, below here let me put it in red you have support uh, right there so this is the mid in in the support right uh, in between pivot point and the support uh, or one then you have the mid and the support let me uh, get out of uh, here so basically um, no changes there uh, you have all the supports here resistance one resistance two and th this is just to identify the colors and and how you want to th you want them to be painted okay so um, that pivots and i don't really use it for targets it really works very well if you see here it went all the way until uh, mid of release two uh, mid of release two of uh, resistance two and then came back uh, came back down so uh, you know they these are very important um, um, uh, areas of uh, support and resistance okay um ninja trader price action again you can find this one in the uh in all the the indicators are are in the ecosystem so basically this one here is the one that marks uh the higher highs and the higher lows um and uh in in i i i didn't use them uh, uh but uh, i i i realized that uh, that a I can I can use them with uh, I mean it doesn't clutter that much the the um, uh, chart so you see that uh, here this one is an important one it gives you a double top and then here you have a a a higher low right there and then here you have a lower high and a lower high and uh lower low and a lower low so it gives you a little bit of of uh, uh, of the uh, tendency of the trend if the market is is doing you know in this case uh giving you um, a kind of like a like a trend okay so that one is 
the ninja price action you you can look for it for with the name of the uh of the indicator in the ecosystem as well now the the, the uh drawing tool uh is a, a one that i that i um installed because i you know i i, I use um uh, channels and uh another um another tools to draw my charts and I, I i really don't want to you know go go there and choose it there so i the, the ones that i uh let me i'm sorry so the one that that i um that i mark the most are the ones that i have here so i do have a ruler um and and this ruler is cool because in that this way i know with this how many bars i have there so i have 34 bars so in that way i don't have to count them right and then uh from here if i do it again from here to here i do have 15 uh so it's kind of half of the movement that made in the initial move right there so um so that one is good um i i like that one but anyways um um the one that i that i uh the the one that i wanted to to indicate that the the, the indicator uh that i use is this this one here and you can you can um customize it the, 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 in any way you want uh, basically um my customization includes the tools that i use and then you define them here in this in this panel right um so drawing tools you go there and you check mark what the, the ones that you want to use okay um then the pm the p uh, the pm stacker um it gives me um that um signal right here also you can find it in the in the ecosystem so basically you do have the emas um it's a moving averages and if everything is is uh, or the 89 is above if below the 55 and that one is about uh, above the or below the 34 and that one is below the 21 and below the 8 then you you can you tell you can tell that the um um the uh emas are stacked so basically that and and you can you can change this one you know if you're not using the the 89 and you're using a different uh um a moving average then um you can change that uh, that uh, value right here um so um so that's that okay let's uh, go to the next one um train lines so the, you see that there is a, a line right here uh, let me mark it again so um i'm gonna put it in yellow here that, so this line right here that one is uh, is uh, given by this indicator so it gives me a, a line of support that uh, you know it's telling me that when i uh, when i have these two i'm sorry let me go back a couple of uh so when you have that that one there and that one there would connect and then then it's going to paint it's going to paint this in this uh, line here so this one is the last uh in the, the last uh trend line and then there's if you see there's another one um right here that it's in in uh red color right there and that one is the previous one that uh that it, it it's marking so it gives me a triangle then moved away from this one and and could potentially give me give me an, an, an a signal of uh to to enter a trade uh but it it gives me uh, some support and and uh an idea of uh, where the, the price is going and as well okay um now the other one that i use is the uh moving average um, um it's called the smooth 50 and then is this um 
it is this um i'm gonna mark it in green now so you see that uh, a a dash dot um line you see here so that one there is the smooth 50 or it's a moving average is the simple moving average of the simple moving average so how do you set it up so you you you, you go there and you choose a sma right of of this uh, line here sma and then uh in the input so you put 50 and then in the input series you go there you click and then you choose again the sma and you put six uh, uh, 50 again if i said 60 before I, I made a mistake so it's 50 of 50 okay so that is a smooth 50. so it gives me um you know a kind of a trend on on how the um the the price is moving so that is a, a 50 ema or 50 sma of the 50 sma okay now this one here is the uh the one that paints the candles okay so uh it's called um mah trend grab grabber uh, again you can find it in in the um in the uh ecosystem basically it paints the, you know the 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 candles right here now the way that i have it set set up is and and i and i've been you know trying to 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 look for the optimal um optimal way to do it right so basically um i'm gonna i'm gonna so you can take in a screenshot or you can come back to the video and see how I, 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 I have set it up. So I do have all the drawings put it there or, or you know, the, um, uh, I, I do have, I have removed the moving average band. I'm, I really don't care about that one, but uh, I do have the color zones. I do, everything is, is a check mark. And then I do have, if, if it's falling, because I'm not using, um, um i'm i'm using um this uh, colors right here i put uh, this uh, um moving average um i'm not using the moving average because i'm using my own moving averages here so i put it as as transparent right so um 30 34 34 and then these are the colors that i'm using for uh the conditions and the conditions are kind of simple the the one that uh, manages everything is that this yellow one this yellow one is the 34 moving average exponential moving averages so um so if the price moves close to the or within the band of the moving average then it's going to paint it white like i do have condition three and four they are snow color and then um red if it's below that that one there right so red and indian red if it's moving uh, uh um uh, to the a counter a counter trend in the opposite direction of the trend so red there and indian red are right there and then came back at, at, at red again okay and then on the on the uh bullish side i do have green and if it m moves against uh the the trend then it's going to paint it blue so that makes it makes it uh, easy to identify um you know the the change of of trend and, and the colors are are you know uh, eye friendly i would say okay so that one is there uh then um I do have also the smooth, smooth uh, the um, simple moving average 50, which is this uh, this one here in a um, in this color uh, dark cyan uh, right there. Okay, so that one is another indicator I have, and then I do have this one that is color regions, right? And then this one gives me I have it uh, in time at 9:30 a.m. And, and 4 p.m. Uh, for a market close, and that is the one that marks. Um, if you see um, in this area, this area here is grayed out, and then this one here 
you see that there's uh, also a a different gray so that that would give me uh, some uh, indicator on when the market opens when uh, it, it alerts me um, uh, before the market uh, uh, closed and, and, and all of that right so in this case in this area here you do see that at, uh, at uh, uh, 3 30 it tells me okay so be be, be careful um no more trades and then this uh, blue area it's already after market okay okay and then the, the the last one is this squeeze indicator and then it's called quiz momentum indicator or momentum in indicator and then you can find this one as well as li like all the indicators in the ninja trader ecosystem um basically um what you see in this one I, and i have it in the same panel as the mq indicator so you can you can have it there or you can if you don't have the mq momentum indicator then you can put it in the let, let's put it in the panel on the um on this other panel here so it moves there see so you see that uh, it's kind of like the same thing um it mark it gives me the squeeze so basically i do have I do have red when it's a in in a squeeze in 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 the morning in this in the uh, for um uh, for the ES um and today is uh, uh August 16 2022 um basically it was in a squeeze almost the whole morning until until uh, it it released this the squeeze right there and then triggered to the upside so right there is where where um um where it triggered um uh, a move to the upside okay so um so um basically um i'm gonna get it get it back to the number two so it's in number three now and you will see the difference so, so it goes there and it marks in number two marks it right there and I move it to that 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 one there. Since I do have the MQ momentum is the and the one that I use, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna remove it. So basically, this is the uh, setup, or this is how you set up the the charts. Um, and um, and um, I think that that would complete uh, what I wanted to say today. Um, um, so thank you for watching and I hope that this one is um, helpful for you. Now, if you um, have any questions, don't hesitate to put it in the comments, like this video and, um, and hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching.